A first degree murder charge was filed today in connection with the disappearance of Molly Tibbetts, who was last seen jogging in Brooklyn, Iowa on July 18, 2018. A complaint and affidavit named Christian Bahina Rivera, age 24, who resides in rural Powashi County and he has been charged with murder in the first degree. Dozens of law enforcement officials from local, state, and federal agencies were involved in the investigation after the disappearance of Molly Tibbetts. A body was discovered early this morning in a farm field southeast of Brooklyn, Iowa. The identity has not been confirmed. However, we believe it to be the body of Molly Tibbetts. A complaint and affidavit, which will be provided to you, will provide the details and of allegations against Mr. Rivera. Charges were filed in the Powashi County District Court. The case will be prosecuted by the Iowa Attorney General, General's Area Prosecution Division, and first degree murder carries a penalty of life without the possibility of parole. And I'll be happy to answer as many Mr. questions as I can. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. We have confirmed with Homeland Security Investigation that he is an illegal alien, and we believe he has been in this area now for four to seven years. Well, during the investigation, we reached out to the public, as you well know. And during our neighborhood canvas, we came across an individual that had security cameras. We took those cameras. He was kind enough to give us the footage from it. And through that, we were able to identify a vehicle that uh, we believe belonged to Mr. Rivera. It was a black Malibu. And from that, we were able to track his pattern and the, the routes in which he took. We are also able to find Molly running on this video and we are able to determine that he was one of the last ones to have seen Molly running based on the video again that we were able to see from the general public. I'm sorry. Well, again, we were able to pull him in during the investigation. We conducted a lengthy interview with Mr. Rivera and during that interview he tells us that he sees Molly running and was able to uh, come upon her, approach her. And while he was interfacing with her, he actually tells us that he ran alongside of her or behind her. And then at one point he tells us that Molly grabbed a hold of her phone and said, you need to leave me alone, I'm gonna call the police. And then she took off running, he in turn chased her down. And then he tells us that at some point in time he blacks out and then he comes to near an intersection in which we believe he then placed Molly. Okay. 